Alyssa, hey, congratulations on your new film, Abigail. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. This is a fun, fun movie. So what initially drew you to this project? Um, I love vampires. I love vampire movies. I've always been wanting to do a movie with like pertaining to the monster universe. So the fact that this movie was happening, that there was a role that I could play and that Matt and Tyler were going to direct it was all the draw that I needed. <laughs> Most excellent. And and I want to remark that on, on a m recent streak of movies lately, a lot of them are in the horror genre for yourself. What what about the horror genre that fascinates you that you that keeps on having you re to return into this uh, movie universe? I mean, I think I've always liked horror, but it's been. I think it's just been that the last few years, the best scripts that I've gotten have been horror, and the the characters that I've most gravitated towards have been that. The opportunities that I've gotten have been horror. Um, so yeah, I don't. I also don't. Don't shy away from it. I. It's not that I only want to do horror movies, but I wouldn't mind continuing to do horror movies if it's the right. You know, if I like the script. Most excellent. Now, this is not your first time working with children, especially in the horror genre. Tell us about uh, how terrifying Alicia is as Abigail and working alongside with her. <laughs> she's incredible. Um, she's very scary, definitely. Uh, but she's also, in real life, the sweetest human and such a professional. It was amazing to get to work with her. Sometimes uh, working with children, it can be complicated because, you know, shorter schedules and all of that. But she was just such a trooper and always, you know, with her lines learned and she knew her lines and everybody else's lines. Um, and it was beautiful to watch someone so fearless and so down to play and, and, and experiment and someone so young and with the ability to do, to play that character with that duality. It was beautiful to watch. Of course, this is also the second time you're working with uh, Radio Silence. Uh, what, what in particular, that third time, wow. What, what in particular that you love about working with these guys? And, it is, and it's just, is it easier to work with the same directors over and over again? I mean, yes, yes, it is easier to work with the directors over and over again because you already know each other. So there's a shorthand of they know how to... They, as directors, already know how to talk to me to get me to the place that they need me to get to. Also, me as an actor, I already know, even just by their look, what I need to change, what they like, what they don't like, the notes that they're going to give me. I just look at them and I'm like, yes, I know. I know what you're going to say. You know, stuff like that, that we're already so in sync that it feels easy. And I think that that's why a lot of actors do that with directors. You have a lot of, a lot of these, like, um, repeat collaborations and I think it's because it's easier to work with someone that you know and that you love and that it's and that it, you can make it easy and fun to work well said well Melissa thank you very much for speaking to us about Abigail I can't wait to speak to you again in, on your next projects thank you so much appreciate it